Hello, I'm Ella. Welcome to my art studio. Today I'm going to be talking through how to work with these lovely Posca paint markers. Um, you can use these markers on loads and loads of different surfaces. You can use them on ceramics um, in order to keep them. Um, all you need to do is do your business, you know, draw your little bits and then put them in the oven at 160 degrees Celsius, 45 minutes, and then you've got a lovely completed design plate. You can also do the same with glassware. This is a really, really simple project, just with a simple stencil and some dots, but it's really effective. You can also use the pens on leather, which I've got on one of my many, many art, art notebooks. Um, and also just on um, paper and card. So they're really, really great. Today I'm gonna to work through how to work with it on wood so you can do stuff with the pencil box and stuff like that. But I'm gonna do a really simple project on making your own monogrammed coasters. So let's go on with the project. So before we start, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to run through the different nib sizes with the individual pens. So you can get a 5M, which produces a really lovely thick line and is fantastic when you're doing big, sort of big coverages of colour. And you know, you can see that it just makes a lovely, big, strong, bold statement. If you want something a little bit more refined, you can go for a 3M, which is great for when you want to produce lovely lines. They're a little bit bold. And I'm a big fan of little fiddly details, so I'm quite fond of the 1MR as well, that again, you know, it's just really nice, lovely, fine things that can trail off and leave quite a sort of painterly, but you know, sort of more detailed edge. So, I'll also show you how, when you get the pen, it starts off with a, just a white nib. And what you do just to charge up the color is you just press down like that. And it'll take a little while, be patient. You don't want to go mad. But then once the color starts coming, there you go, just then all of a sudden you get that fabulous line. I love this emerald colour. Again, a bit of a favourite of mine. So I shall just talk you through how to create some simple typography. You do not have to be a graphic design student to, to do this. It's just very, very simple. I'm going to do a B, just do a very thick line and go with the grain of the wood. You'll see that it absorbs the paint in the pen an awful lot better. I'm going for um, a little bit of a flourish here at the, the sides, you know, giving it a serif. If you ever have a, anyone talks fonts with you and they talk about sans and serifs, a sans is when they're quite plain, whereas a serif will have little flourishes like that. I won't even get onto script fonts just yet. And again, just very, very simple. Just thickening areas and thinning areas. And then you've got a lovely little B. Okay. Now I'm gonna draw some laurel leaves. And I'm just gonna draw the stems framing the monogram. You want this to be really simple. I'm just going to draw the stems first before the leaves. These leaves are really, really simple. But again, just really effective and contemporary. And you can do them in different directions. So it adds a bit of movement to your design. And honestly, anyone can do this. It's not a complicated pattern. 
or anything like that. And I'm just going to continue doing that with all of my colours. I've completed that now and now I'm going to put some flowers on. Um, and again, I'm going to use a very, very simple design that basically anyone can recreate and kind of things that you do when you're just, you know, sort of putting on cards and stuff like that. So I'm going to do a five petal design. So don't worry that this looks a bit faint on the wood. It kind of, as the wood absorbs the paint, it will look, it will sort of look more defined later. I'm just going to do another, see, so another five lit, five petal design. So you start, you go one, two, three, four, five, and they're deliberately naive. Really, I think that's the, I think that's the technical term anyway. And I'm going to do that six petal design in blue. And again, I'm a little bit, this emerald green and this, um, this light blue, I'm a little bit obsessed with. So my apologies, they're kind of in all my designs at the moment. And with the little six petal design, again, you go one, two, three, four, five, six. And it's as if you're drawing a little sort of line star, but we're going to fill in some detail later, so it'll look a little bit more de defined and a bit more designed. So I'm going to show you how to do another flower. And this flower is kind of a little bit inspired by boat design. Um, the sort of boat flowers that you get. And I'm going to use a sort of hotter pink for that. And this is kind of this is great for people who aren't particularly adept drawers. So you go, you kind of draw like a little funny man, really. You go bing, bing, bing. Then you put a little dot in the middle and then you just fill in the petals. And I honestly did learn that from someone who does boat design. So little running man or jumping man and then So we're going to fill in the detail on our flowers and I'm going to use a yellow in 3M and a red in 5M just to give it a bit more impact and a bit more of a fuller centre. So there we go for the pink flowers. Really simple. And I'm going to go no more complicated for the blue flower as well. And what I love about these pens is they're so rich in their colour and they're so strong in terms of their pigment that you can go over with a lighter colour on a darker colour and still create a bit of an impact. So for me, that that's really good in terms of the practice because you can really create something quite strong. Right, so there you have it. So that's your monogrammed coaster.